sex. Now that I have your attention, have you ever wanted to talk to your friends in VR chat and they were like, oh my god, I can't hear you. I don't understand the words that's coming out of your mouth. I, I, I'm actually like deaf. Well, in a few easy steps, you could be like me or this random nerd over here that I found. Quick, say something, nerd. Uh, something. Hello. Oh, hi. Ah! Okay, now fuck off. I love you. Uh, okay. Okay, love you too. As always, quick disclaimers. This avatar is made by Shrimpy. The world that we're in is made by Kirineko, and the base for this model is made by Agitype01. Alright, first things first is you want to go ahead and head on over to the GitHub TTS Voice Wizard page. I'll go ahead and have it linked down in the description for those of you watching. Then go over to the latest releases on the side tab, a little bit down from the top of the page. Scroll down and select Download Zip. Next up, open the folder where you downloaded it to and extract the zip file where you want it to go. I suggest using 7-Zip, which is what I'm using right now, but you can use the internal Windows app if you'd like. Open the folder, open the executable, and you'll see a pop-up window. On the side menu, click on Speech Provider. Now, there's two ways that you can do this. If you have a good system like mine, you can use Whisper. Simply download the model you want from the Auto Download Model tab, and now you're golden. For context, Whisper is a full-scale language model, so it's a resource hog. But I do have a workaround that I'll talk about later. Or you can also use Vosk on the web page. Scroll down to GitHub Wiki Table of Contents and click on Speech to Text. Scroll down until you see Vosk and go ahead and click on that. Now you can download any version. It's not that heavy on your system resources, so unless you're heavily strapped for them, I'd just download the biggest model. And in Whisper, under the Voss tab, go ahead and link it to where you downloaded the model. And now for the settings. Under the General tab, turn on the STTTS shortcut. The default hotkey works fine for most cases. And now under Audio, on the drop-down, select either Whisper or Vosk, depending on the which one you chose, and select the microphone you plan on using in VRChat. Under General Text, make sure the OSC send address is on 127.0.0.1. This just makes sure that everything is being done on the computer you're running it on. And set the OSC send port to 9000. These should be default, but it doesn't hurt to check. Under chat box, make sure send text to VR chat with VRC chat box is selected and the rest of these settings you can just leave as default. That thing that I mentioned before, for whatever reason, whenever you mute your own chat box and make it not display, you can run whatever you want and it will have significantly less lag. I don't know why this is, but let's figure out how to do that. First, you want to open up your wing menu, the small menu. And then you want to open up the settings tab in the small menu. And under here where it says chat box, pretty far down, this click show own chat box. So make sure that box is unchecked. And now you're golden. So now you know how to have closed captions on yourself in VR chat. I think it's pretty cool. And it actually does help with the actually deaf people that I meet on VR chat and talk to. So now you know and you know as always i hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching and keep living it oh and don't think about the game